Hi, I'm Pearly, and here's a draw this in a style challenge that I did a while ago. I was thrilled when I first saw the design since I have a passion for Chinese traditional fashion. This was my first attempt at drawing two characters in a single sketch. While creating the sketch, I took great care to capture all the details in their clothing and hairstyles. Now that the sketch is complete, I'm moving on to block out the base colors of different parts to get a general idea of what the drawing looks like. At the same time, I'm sketching out the highlights and shadows to make the later rendering process easier. As I begin coloring their faces, I'm using a saturated orange ish palette to give them a soft look. Reverting to the reference, I imagine one of the girls being a mature older sister and the other being a cute little sister. So I make sure to capture the unique facial expressions while doing the line art. However, looking back at it, I definitely need more practice drawing expressions since the difference isn't as prominent as I think it is. Moving on to the eyes, since they both have the same eye color, I'm painting both with a golden yellow. I like how the vivid color enhances their overall appearance. I'm now doing the rest of the line art, which is only their hands, since the rest are covered by their clothing. I'm also changing the color of the line art to better match the skin tone. And I forgot to press record while I was drawing her dress, so you just have to use your imagination here. With some minor tweaks here and there, one of the dresses is basically done. I refer back to the reference sheet a lot while drawing her accessories, and I'm amazed at how elaborate they are. I wish I could create an OC like this one day. I'm also adding a wooden piece for her to hold on to and some pearls to add a more sophisticated appearance. Moving on to the second dress, since it's mostly blue to lean into its aesthetic, I'm using different shades of blue to block out the folds and shadows. I'm also adding a bit yellow, green, and red to make it feel more cohesive. I'm using the same color palette to paint the details of her color. I'm getting a little bored, so I'm painting some accessories to relax a bit. For the accessories on her waist, I decided to draw them first and then transform them into the shape that I wanted since it's a lot easier this way. Then I changed their color to match with the lighting. I realize both dresses feel a bit flat, so I'm adding some highlights to give them more depth. It also helps sell the scene in which they are facing some light coming from the window. At this point, I'm still not happy with how the dress looks, so I'm adding more details. While I'm at it, I'm also enhancing the difference between the light and shadow to make the whole drawing pop, so to speak. Eventually, I ended up with this. It's not the best I've done, but I think it's pretty cool. Moving on to the hair, I start by blocking out the shadow with a darker version of the hair color while keeping in mind where the light would hit. After that, I'm using an overlay layer to add some color to the overall brown hair. I'm using red and greenish blue since they are the primary colors of the dresses. After cleaning up the edges, apparently I decided to paint the hair accessories instead. Both of them have elaborate flower designs as accessories, so I start by drawing the general shape of the flowers and then adding some base colors and shadows while not caring about the details just yet. While I'm at it, I'm also adding the gold accessories as well. 
I really like drawing little details like this since they always make the drawing feel complete. After all the base colors are done, I then start adding details to the accessories like some basic shadows and highlights. I noticed there are pearls around the flowers in their design so I'm adding those as well. Now that the hair accessories are done, I'm finally back to painting the hair. I start by adding details to the bangs and hair strands around her face. Because I painted the accessories first, I just need to render the parts that aren't covered. Which saves a lot of time actually. To paint the hair, I basically select a color that I want to use from the base and then use it to create different hair strands. This way the colors will blend right in with the rest of the painting, giving it a cohesive feel. I use the same technique to paint the rest of the hair and then I just add some basic shading for the parts that aren't too visible. Moving on to the background, I start by rendering the wall and the painting. Since the color sketch already feels complete, I'm just tidying up the edges, adding some shading and texture to it. I'm also adjusting the window since the perspective was a bit off. Here I'm using a reference that I found on Pinterest to render the window so that the details are just right. I really enjoy painting the wooden details, it's kind of relaxing. I'm honestly glad that I took the time to find the reference, otherwise I would never thought of a convincing pattern for the window. And since it's an important part of the painting, it helps bring the whole piece together. After I'm happy with it, I then go on and add some shading and some wooden texture to the patterns. With the window complete, I'm using the same technique which is just using a flat, dry brush to draw a straight line to render the beam of the window. Since the whole drawing is based on a Chinese aesthetic, I want the painting to be what I believe is called an ink and wash painting. Fortunately, I found a brush with an ink texture that I was looking for, so I'm using it to draw the painting here. I then moved on to render the cabinet under the painting using another reference that I found on Pinterest. Thank you, Pinterest. Since it's similar in the color to the window, I'm darkening it a bit to help differentiate between the two. Here, I'm using a darker version of the wooden color to render the screen at the back of the room. Since it isn't going to be that visible, I'm putting less effort into it. Shh, don't, don't tell everyone. I decided to use the same brush as before to paint some bamboo as decoration, because I imagine it being a complete set of furniture with the painting. Plus, I really enjoy using this brush. drawing some flowers for the upper panel to add some variations. After that, I move on to coloring the vase. It's the same as before, just adding enough details to pass as a background.
For the foreground, I'm using a leaf brush that I found on Medibank Cloud to add highlight and shading to the bushes. I decided it looked a bit fake, so I changed the hue and add an orange glow to help it blend with the rest of the painting. And I almost forgot to render the wall, so here I'm doing it. With that done, I'm now adding some light flare to create a more magical feel to the drawing. After some minor touch-ups here and there, I was ready to call it done. And then I found some patterns on Medibank Cloud again that I could use as fabric texture. I love how it gives the clothing a fancier look and I think it matches with the overall aesthetic since I imagine the sister coming from a wealthy family. I know it may not be that obvious on screen, but I believe it makes all the difference to me. Finally, with some touch-ups on the hair, the drawing is done. Let's look at the finished drawing. 